In Creo Parametric, the solidify command has five use cases for surfaces and making solid models. Let's take a look at them. First, you can use the solidify command to take a single closed quilt and turn it into a solid. Here I have a surface that I created in the style feature, but be aware those surfaces could be created with parametric tools or the freestyle tool, the style tool. However you get those surfaces, you can use Solidify to make a solid out of them. If I go to the View tab and then go to Sections, we'll take a look at a cross section in the X direction. As I drag this out, you can see that this set of surfaces is hollow on the inside, but it forms a closed volume. Let's cancel out of the Section tool. Let's go back to the Model tab. Then I can select the quilt. A lot of times I will use the filter in the lower right hand corner just so that it's easier to select it. Then I can click on the solidify command. That'll give me the dashboard. You'll notice that the only choice that we have here is to fill with solid because we only have a single closed quilt and no other existing geometry in the model. The references tab has a collector for the reference quilt. From the body options, if this part already had a body, you could use this to create a separate body. And the properties tab is just another place to change the name of the feature. Let's hit the check mark. And now we have a solid model here. If we go to the view tab and then create a section, once again, I'll do it in the X direction. You can see that we do indeed have solid material on the inside of this. All right, let's cancel out of the section tool. For the second use case, you can use the solidify command in order to add material to an existing solid. Here I have an extrusion, it's a block, it is solid. Let me change to a wireframe mode for a second. I have a curve and I'm gonna take that curve and then revolve it and it'll create a surface. Let's hit the check mark. Let me change back to a shaded mode. Let me go to hidden line for a moment. No, that doesn't give me anything. Let's go to a shaded with edges mode. And so I've got this quilt in my model. I can select the quilt, then go to the solidify command. Right now it is set to fill that quilt with solid material. I will hit the check mark. And in this way, we've added material to the model. The third use case is to use the solidify command to remove material from the model. I'm going to take the solidify and then edit definition. And then instead of fill with solid, I will change to remove material. And this will end up subtracting that quilt from this particular part. The fourth use case is something that used to be called patch. And that's a situation that has a number of very specific rules. Here I have a solid block in the model. And I also have a bunch of surfaces that were merged together. And there are a few specific rules for the next use case. If you have an open quilt that terminates on the boundaries of a solid, it can simultaneously add and remove material from your part. Let's select our quilt, and then I will go to the solidify command. And because it met the specific rules of the model, and because it met the specific rules of the use case, you'll notice that we have this replace surface option. So we're getting some material added. Actually, it's just creating it from sort of like what was left. It's sort of like a subtracting material and then creating new material here. I will hit the check mark. So we end up with a much different situation than we had before. If we go to the edit to definition command and I will flip the tool direction, you'll notice that it's subtracting material here and then adding material over there. Let's hit the check mark and let's take a look at a cross section in this particular case. Let's do a planar cross section. I'll pick this surface and you can see the solid material that we have through here. So again, this particular situation, it ended up adding and removing material within the same command. For the fourth use case, there is a special situation and this little trick that you can use, it ends up being very convenient, and that's using the solidify command to perform a cut 
with a datum plane. If I select a datum plane, then I can go to the solidify command. And here it's showing how it'll leave us with one half of the model. Let's hit the check mark. You can see the resulting geometry. Let's edit definition of the solidify. And I can flip the direction. And so that way now we're cutting away from the other side. And let's edit definition one more time. Let's go to the References tab. Instead of using the datum plane called right, I can use the datum plane called front. Let's hit the check mark. And there you can see how we're using a datum plane for essentially performing a cut in the model. This is a nice little shortcut that I take advantage of all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.